everyone welcome back to the pike homestead so i'm working in the garden because it looks like a wild mat there's vegetables in there guys <laughs> so this row here is all beans this row here is all peas now you can kind of see the pea trellises here now everything else is overgrowing that space except i can't really pull them apart because the peas are actually wrapped around all the other plants so i'm just taking down the tall ones now over i have amaranth growing but some of this is taller than my amaranth so i'm kind of clearing out around the amaranth that's growing down the middle and leaving everything else uh, we have a lot of butterflies at the moment in the garden and so we kind of just want to keep as many of the flowers and things that we need, get rid of thistles and that kind of stuff, and then go from there. All right, so I'll kind of show you this a bit later when I've gotten a bit further along. So, let's see. We've got quite a bit of it growing in here all the way along. So it's a bit of a wild mess, but we can see all the wheat and where all the wheat is. And yeah, we'll just let it grow and do its thing, chop it down and see how many seeds we get at the end. Alright, so we've been clearing it out a little bit here. You can actually see our amaranth growing. We're not doing a full weed where like it'll all be dirt. All we're doing is releasing the plants that are higher than the amaranth or the beans or the peas so that they're the ones on top and then they'll fill up the space and die out everything else underneath them. Right now, everything else is holding moisture and into the soil. So we're going to keep it where it is. I've done, uh, let's see, one, two, oh, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, one, two, so we got beans, peas, amaranth row, amaranth row, and we're just kind of starting this amaranth row. And then we have corn and soy and wheat. So we're getting there bit by bit, but we'll hopefully grow something out of here. With all the rain, we haven't been able to get out here and it's just grown crazy. So trying to keep on top of it and give the plants the sun that they need, but without overdoing it. Oh. So we have some broccoli growing in here and some pumpkin and then i don't know if we can see it from here but i've got some cabbages growing along there along with our trees with fruit trees just gonna go over to the apple trees and see if there's anything growing come on sweetie oh there's a couple of apple buds up there a few more here so we might get quite a few apples now i don't know what type of apple these are if we can eat them or if they're just crab apples or what but we'll see once they're grown yeah there's a whole ton in there a whole bunch of apples in here coming up So lots of really good apples, so happy about that.
butterflies in here. As you walk, go walk. Hey everybody, so it's another day, but we're still working on some things. So I am taking the scythe and I'm going to attempt to make some hay from this field over here. So why don't you guys come along and watch me attempt to do that. Alright, <laughs> okay, so this, straighten you guys up here. This is the field we want to hay. I'm just going to start past all the flowers though because the butterflies are loving it. <clears throat> oh, I think I can start here. One, this is editor me <laughs> so I haven't done an outro for this but we managed to get um, a bit more of the hay kind of uh, scythe Adam had been doing it in the morning so we'll kind of give you guys a look at that in another video um, other than that our garden is getting a little less weedy but we still got a lot of work to do um, I finally got my peppers out let's see if I can show you guys from downstairs so they'll be in these pots for a little bit until I have time to kind of put them in the garden um, but yeah I just thought I'd kind of show you all the flowers that are growing here they're so pretty That's some nice big purple ones there but anyway thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye